college football fans, it's game day. We've got all the action right here on Denver 7. Week one of the fall season starting with the CSU Rams as they take on the University of Michigan and Ann Arbor. Holiday weekend festivities now in full swing across Colorado, who's shutting down for Labor Day as summer comes to a close. Launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub of the attempt of launch of Artemis 1. Those words Monday delaying a historic mission to space. But today NASA gets another shot. We're previewing today's rescheduled launch and the Colorado connection, hoping to put Americans back on the moon. Hmm, will they or won't they? A lot of stuff to watch today with Artemis. Good morning. Welcome to Denver 7 News. I'm Jessica Crawford. And I'm Katie LaSalle. Thank you so much for joining us here on this Saturday morning. We'll start with some of the things happening across Colorado this Labor Day weekend. The Colorado State Fair, it runs through Monday in Pueblo. A lot of fun, but also a little controversy happening right now. One artist is having to defend his first place win for digital artwork at the fair. He created the piece using an artificial intelligence program on his computer, drawing criticism from some people in the art community who call this win unfair. Artist Jason Allen says when submitting the piece, he made it clear that he created the work using AI, prompting state management to re-examine the rules of the fair. Not everyone's bummed about summer ending. Labor Day weekend is going to mean weekend deals for the upcoming ski season. So if you need gear, Christie Sports Powder Day sale runs through September 11th. And you can find gear deals at the stores in Littleton, Dillon, and Vail online. Plus, Epic Mountain Gear has a sale going on too. It's also the weekend to get deals on ski passes and packs. Uh, it'll be here before we know it. But also first, a Labor Day tradition is back in Denver this weekend, the Taste of Colorado. It's such a great time and this year we'll be at Civic Center Park instead of on the 16th Street Mall because of ongoing construction. The free festival will have five music stages, 50 artisan booths, plus more than 30 food trucks. Do bring a credit card because you will need to pay for food and drinks and this year they're not doing tickets Things kick off at 11 o'clock this morning. And it is going to be a very toasty afternoon for all those taking part at Civic Center Park's Taste of Colorado this year. They're setting up right now. Sun is shining and it's a beautiful morning. As we take a live look outside elsewhere here across the state over Denver City Park, it's a touch hazy here over the metro area with uh, an ozone action day taking effect until at least four o'clock this afternoon, making it unhealthy for sensitive groups. If you fall in that category, may want to limit time outdoors today. Also be prepared for some big heat building through the weekend. Right now, though, nice and mild upper 60s, Highlands Ranch, Centennial up through Erie and Broomfield, 40s to low 50s into the mountains. If you're heading out the door, maybe going to brunch somewhere by noon, we'll be at 81 degrees and then we'll climb to the upper 80s to low 90s by about three o'clock looking at a high of 92 in Denver with 80s returning to Steamboat Springs down through Aspen and Gunnison and nearing 100 degrees over the western slope in Grand Junction. Now later on this afternoon we could see an isolated thunderstorm or two over our southern mountain ranges, our Sangre de Cristos and San Juans. Otherwise it's going to be partly cloudy skies, dry conditions over eastern Colorado and some big heat for the next several days. Jessica. The countdown is on in the second go round to get Artemis 1 off the ground. So this is a live look at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where it's up in the air if the rocket is actually going to lift off today. NASA and some engineers here in Colorado were cautiously optimistic after the launch was delayed Monday due to an engine issue and some bad weather. Denver 7's Christian Lopez is live with the plans to try again today. Christian. And Jessica, in just the last 20 minutes or so, NASA tweeted out that they are experiencing some issues again this morning. So we're still waiting to hear if this is going to impact the launch or not. This is the first rocket designed to get humans to the moon in more than 50 years. And Colorado has played a pivotal role in the Mission 1 launch. Some of the rocket's design and manufacturing were done right here in Colorado. The Orion space capsule that is on top of the rocket was mainly designed by Lockheed Martin engineers from our state. And the heat shield and back shell were also made here in Colorado. Some of the testing was also done here. Engineers thought they had solved the problem. Weather can also become an issue, but now they are dealing with some more problems this morning. One thing folks don't understand is that rockets, when they go through the atmosphere, can actually trigger their own lightning strike. So even though we might not have a thunderstorm um, in the vicinity, the atmosphere can be electrified enough to have a lightning bolt trigger from the rocket launching through the atmosphere. 
and the rocket won't have any humans on it this time around. The next part of the mission, Artemis 2, that one is expected to carry humans in 2024, with astronauts expected to land on the moon late 2025. Now, if that launch is postponed today, the next launch window would be Monday. But if all goes according to plan, the launch will take place at 1217 this afternoon. Live this morning, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. And we will be watching regardless. Thank you, Christian. Well, Labor Day weekend is the last weekend before a lot of sweet summer places shut down. For example, this is the last weekend for water worlds, at least for humans. The park will reopen next Saturday for dogs. Elitch Gardens Water Park closes tomorrow, but the amusement park is going to be open weekends all the way until Halloween. Yeah, it's fun there, especially in the fall, too. Aurora has two outdoor pools open this weekend, Del Mar and Meadow Hills, but they will close after Labor Day on Monday. Meanwhile, Denver has already closed its outdoor pools. Broomfield's Water Park, the Bay, is also closing Monday, but it will reopen next Saturday for the dogs as well. As tens of thousands of Coloradans take off for the holiday weekend, Colorado's Attorney General is calling on Congress to address consumer complaints about the airline industry. The U.S. Department of Transportation reports air travel service complaints are up 270 percent compared to before the pandemic. Phil Weiser is leading a coalition of 38 state attorneys general calling out the airline industry for failing their customers, saying the U.S. Department of Transportation is the problem behind it. Weiser says he sent multiple letters to the agency to investigate the more than 600 complaints his office received about Colorado-based Frontier alone, and that's more than any other airline. Under federal law, it's up to the Department of Transportation to take consumer complaints seriously, to investigate them, and to hold companies accountable when they break the law. Unfortunately, the Department of Transportation isn't doing that. Plus, some customers are saying they still haven't received promised credits for flights that were changed during the pandemic, and they're still facing some unreasonable delays and cancellations. The Colorado Department of Education has announced this year's seven finalists for the 2023 Colorado Teacher of the Year. So one of these teachers will be selected for the honor in October, and they'll then be considered for the national title. The finalists come from all over the state, and they teach everything from elementary school to high school. Denver 7 is proud to be a partner of the Colorado Teacher of the Year program, and you can learn more about the finalists right now on denver7.com. Well, if you give a child a book, it can open their imagination, take them to places they've never been, plant the seeds for future success, and even help break the cycle of poverty. That's why, again, this year we're asking you to donate money and help us provide quality books to kids who need them. Just log on to the DenverChannel.com slash give a book. And right now, and they'll tell you what you're willing to give for just $5. You can actually buy a child a book and give a child a real chance. The FBI trying to unravel a mystery at Mar-a-Lago. What agents investigating classified information stored at former President Trump's Florida home can't figure out.